You're Mardi. <laughs> ah -ha. From the Lords Macintosh, McGuffin and Default. Their response is no doubt. Aye. Welcome back to Pop Culture Cooking with Marcus and Julie, and today we are going to be making ice rolls made famous by Disney's Brave. We are going to dive into a step-by-step -step process on how to make it and give you a history of where it came from. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with half a cup of warm milk, add one package of active dry yeast, and five tablespoons of bread flour. And we're gonna mix that up and let that sit for about 10 minutes. And while that is sitting, we're gonna get the mixer ready. We're gonna add a fourth a cup of sugar and eight eggs. And we're gonna mix that up until that is combined. Okay, and to that mixture, after the 10 minutes, you're gonna add the yeast mixture and let that incorporate. Time for a little bit of history. So the Brave Ice Rolls are actually called Empire Biscuits. The Empire Biscuits have been a popular snack in Scotland since the early 1900s. They were originally called Linzer Biscuits, and the name change was from World War I. The Germans changed it to inspire patriotism across the United Kingdom. And then we're gonna switch out to a dough hook and then start adding flour. So at this point we added three tablespoons and three cups of bread flour. And you're gonna do this in four parts. So the first part you're gonna do and then mix. And then the second part, add some flour, mix. And before you do the third portion, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt and a little bit of orange extract. You can use vanilla or whatever extract you like. And then you're gonna add that third portion and then mix and then the fourth portion. And then you're gonna to wanna to incorporate as much as you can now we're going to add one and a half cups of room temperature butter and mix until combined. And then let that rest in a bowl for one and a half to two hours. After the hour and a half time frame, the recipe tells you to punch the dough, which is when I discovered that the dough was way too wet to work with. So we ended up adding about three more cups of flour. You may need to add less or more depending on the humidity in your area and once you have a workable dough you can create the rolls and I did about 18 you can probably get about 24 depending on how big you want your rolls and you're gonna let that set for 30 minutes and then after the 30 minutes you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and brush your rolls with a egg white or um, I'm sorry an egg wash and bake for about 15 to 22 minutes you're gonna watch for a golden brown crust pull them out and let them cool and I made a royal icing which was three egg whites a quarter of a teaspoon of tartar cream of tartar and then three and a half cups of powdered sugar and I did add a little orange extract to that and that's what I iced the buns with and I let that set until it became the design from Brave and then put little maraschino cherries on top. Enjoy! Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we'll start with some news. One of the best action movies ever made, True Lies, uh, that starred Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis is getting a reboot in the form of a TV series. It's gonna star Steve Howey and Ginger Gonzaga. Ginger has done a lot of great voiceover work for Family Guy, Bojack Horseman, American Dad, and a TV show called Wrecked. Steve was in Reba, some episodes of Sons of Anarchy, and Game Over Men. So we'll see how that's gonna turn out. Next up, uh, from the TV show Married with Children that started way back in 1987 and ended in 1997, has an animated show in the works uh, with the four main actors are signed on. Katie Segal, Ed O'Neill, Christina Applegate, and David Faustino. Uh, the show will be written and executive produced by showrunner Alex Carter from Family Guy. Some trailers to check out. We have Thor Love and Thunder coming out July 8th. 
Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson, and the Guardians of the Galaxy are back. We will also see Natalie Portman as Lady Thor. Taika Waititi is back directing. Taika directed Thor Ragnarok, some episodes of What We Do in the Shadows. Uh, he's been part of some really good content, and he also voices Korg. Taika also did Jojo Rabbit, which that movie has a great cast. Uh, Rebel Wilson, Scarlett Johansson, Stephen Merchant from Logan, Sam Rockwell from Iron Man 2, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh look, there's Bilbo Baggins. Well, Bilbo from the Hobbit films anyway. Zoe Deschanel, Yasin Bey, and Snake, uh, the late great Alan Rickman as Marvin. Obvious. Next up, we got Jurassic World Dominion, releasing June 9th, directed by Colin Trevorrow, who also did the first Jurassic World. Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard are back, along with the legacy cast from Jurassic Park, like uh, Jeff Goldblum from The Fly, Independence Day, uh, deep cover with the great Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Neill from the Merlin TV series, Event Horizon with Lawrence Fishburne as well, in the Mouth of Madness by the great John Carpenter. Uh, some of Carpenter's works include, you might have heard of them, Halloween, Escape from New York, The Thing, They Live, so many more. Uh, Laura Dern is from The Last Jedi, and We Don't Live Here Anymore. Hey look, it's the Hulk. Big monster! And that'll wrap it up for today. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.